Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. The so-called competition has been coming for Tesla longer than Elon has been promising for self-driving cars. But now, after all these years of waiting for the competition, the legacy automakers are crumbling right in front of our eyes. All their promises of catching up to Tesla comes tumbling down, while Tesla pulls further away. It has never been more clear that no one will be catching up to Tesla, and the legacy automakers has never been in bigger trouble. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So the competition has been coming for Tesla for many years now. Just as Elon has promised full self-driving will work this year, since 2017, the competition has been supposed to be coming and eating Tesla's lunch every year as well. But we are still waiting. And now, what we have been saying for years would happen is starting to play out. The claims from the big legacy automakers are starting to crumble, and they are backing down from all their promises of building millions of EVs in just a couple of years. Because we are seeing some troubling news about the so-called competition. Especially if we look back just a year or two, what they said and the implication of what this means for the companies. Like we now see Ford cutting F-150 Lightning's production. The vehicle that should be the one saving Ford, making the shift from ICE to EVs. Remember the auto experts and the Ford family, what they said when they launched the Lightning in April 2022. The traditional auto industry is pretty far behind Tesla, said Earl J. Hestberg, chief executive of Group 1 Automotive, a large auto retailer, who has known Mr. Farley for two decades. In the past, if you were behind a few years, the big players could catch up. But today, the speed of change is so much greater. Auto experts says that the electric F-150, known as the Lightning, must be a success if Ford is to thrive in the age of electric vehicles. Introducing this truck now is equivalent to betting the company, said William C. Ford Jr., the company's executive chairman, who is a great-grandson of Henry Ford. If this launch does not go well, we can tarnish the entire franchise. And here we are, one and a half years later, and Ford is now cutting 700 jobs at their F-150 Lightning production facility. Because, as the UAW said, in a memo, the sales of the F-150 Lightning has tanked. The memo that was shared by the Wall Street Journals revealed that Ford could cut a shift of the plant that is building the electric F-150 Lightning, as sales of the Lightning have tanked. The memo was shared by the UAW's official in a response to Ford's announcement that it will cut a shift from the Lightning facility, affecting 700 jobs at the site. And as Ford said, it isn't related to the UAW strike at other factories. So this is solely because of either production problem with the Lightning or demand issues. Or maybe both. But demand issues seem strange, right? Not just because EV sales are up 50%, but as Ford proudly told us, they had 200,000 reservations of the Lightning. As Jim Farley said in December of 2021, the F-150 Lightning orders were capped at 200,000. We have to stop taking reservations because we have so many. So if they have 200,000 pre-ordered, it seems strange that they could only deliver 3,500 units in a whole quarter of the lightning here in Q3 down 45% after one and a half year ramping up production. But one of the reasons might be the price hikes that Ford did on the Lightning in May of this year, as Ford promised a $40,000 Lightning for its pro users. But as I said at the reveal of the Lightning, they only came out with the $40,000 version because Tesla showed off their $40,000 Cybertruck. And we knew that they were still losing a lot of money on their EVs and a $40,000 F-150 Lightning with a huge battery seems too good to be true. And 
it was. It massively increased the cost of the entry-level Pro model that went from its 2021 launch price of 39,974 to 59,974 earlier this year. So a 50% increase in price. So no wonder that many reservation holders jumped ship, as this was suddenly $20,000 more expensive than they expected. And the entry-level version is a stripped-down version of this pickup truck, with no big screen and very little range of 230 miles, so not really a pickup truck that is good for the pro market, as it will hardly be able to tow anything for a decent range. And you have to pay $60,000 for that? I think that is a very bad deal and not very good value for money and i think that is why so many have jumped ship and also because ford is not really delivering many so now the cybertruck is about to come out so many will probably go for that one instead and why ford in may of this year opened up their order page again for new customers even though they are far from having produced enough lightnings to meet that 200,000 pre-orders together with cutting jobs at the ev production facility is not a good look Interestingly, the cutting of jobs and shift at their factories comes after six weeks closure over the summer for expansion. The expansion of the Michigan EV plan, Ford said, would allow it to meet customers' demand for its EVs. However, that expansion come as Ford began backtracking on some of its EV target. The company backtracked on the previous goal to produce 2 million EVs by the end of 2026. The company also gave itself an extra year to meet its target of producing 600,000 EVs per year. And that was actually a production run rate, not an actual production target for a year. So it all just seems a little strange. Expanding production capacity over the summer to back down again on all those plans. So the launch of the F-150 Lightning is definitely not going according to plan for Ford. And remember what Ford Jr. said, if this launch doesn't go well, we can tarnish the entire franchise. Yeah, this transition is much harder than Ford probably realized. As Elon said, production is hard. They thought back in the days that they would be able to keep up with Tesla. But when that became painfully obvious they couldn't, at least Tim Farley was out admitting they would never catch up to Tesla in production and cost of producing an EV. As Jim said in an interview at Rolf Research Conference hosted by an analyst, Rod Lanch, Lanch told the pair of Ford executive that he recently asked 100 investors if they believed traditional automakers could catch Tesla on cost. Could Ford and others build EVs as efficiently as the EV leader? Tesla? The answer was overwhelming, no. 92% of respondents said traditional automakers won't catch Tesla. And Farley agreed, I'm in the 92% camp, he told Lynch. So Ford came to the conclusion that they would never be able to catch up to Tesla. But someone that didn't even want to say the name Tesla has never come to that conclusion. GM and Mary Barra that said, Do you think that you can catch Tesla by 2025? Absolutely, Phil. Yeah, we all know that was just Mary propaganda. And of course, they will never catch up to Tesla. And that is becoming as clear as day now, even though GM has never been out saying it yet. As GM said, it will delay production of electric pickup trucks in its plant in Michigan, Orion Township, by a year as the number one US automaker grapple with flattening demand for electric vehicles. Ooh, ouch. And we did see just a few deliveries of the Silverado EV in Q3, but that is now being delayed as well, as the electric Silverado now is to start in late 2025. And the Cybertruck will start deliveries within a month, and GM is pushing its EV pickup truck out for something like two years. As I keep saying, this will not end well for GM. Their ultimate platform is already inferior today, but now their real pickup truck with the inferior technology will not come out before late 2025. Who is ever going to buy that car at that point in time? If they have a demand problem now with EV growing 50%, how do you think it will look in two years time with their outdated technology? But Tesla is losing PEV market share in the US. They are at an all-time low. 
<laughs> yes, and that will continue as more EVs comes to market. That is just math. But Tesla is still growing like crazy also in the overall market and doesn't see an EV demand problem. As James so nicely illustrated with this chart where we can see the absurd lead Tesla has in the US. As we say all the time, there is literally Tesla and then everyone else down there in the corner. So James was so nice to zoom in a bit on that corner to show how the competition is doing. But just remember, on this chart, Tesla is literally off the chart. <laughs> Let's say it one more time all together now. There is no competition for Tesla in the US. None whatsoever. GM is not catching up, not even a little bit. They are now backing down from their outrageous claims and everyone can now see no one is catching Tesla in the US, not Mary Embarrassing or anyone else. And Volkswagen has also said they would catch up to Tesla. They have actually been saying this for 10 years straight now. So probably one of the longest standing jokes in the industry. If there's anyone who thinks Volkswagen has any credibility left, please let me know in the comments down below. But Bloomberg did believe all the hype, right? After Volkswagen made close to 500,000 units in 2021, they made this chart showing that Volkswagen would make seven to 800,000 units in 2022 and then 1.5 million here in 2023. <laughs> Volkswagen will be lucky to make even half of that in 2023. They are not catching up to Tesla as Bloomberg thought they would. And I made a video about it in 2021 saying this would not play out like this. And it seems that I was better at these predictions than Bloomberg was. And Volkswagen has not gained on Tesla at all, but has fallen further behind. And they said in 2013, by 2018, they would be the biggest electric car maker. But when that didn't happen, Dice was out saying in February of 2018 that by 2025, Volkswagen would be bigger than Tesla. And Tesla has pulled away from Volkswagen pretty much ever since, except 2020, when Volkswagen started real production of EVs. But remember how Dice told the Finance Time, anything Tesla can do, we can surpass. We are confident that in the new world, we will become a market leader. Well, we are still waiting, Volkswagen. You have nothing Tesla has. Your production time is three times slower than Tesla for an EV to produce something that is inferior in every single way possible. Range, charging speed, performance, towing, cargo space, safety, not to mention software. The ID3 is so inferior to the Tesla Model 3 is not even funny. Even though Volkswagen said the ID3 would be able to do anything a Tesla could just for a more affordable price. <laughs> yeah, the longest standing joke in the auto industry, Volkswagen catching Tesla, still stands. But all the hate against Tesla is nothing new. All the way back to the Model S reveal, people laughed at Tesla. And this was just a prototype. And Tesla took people's money in deposit, but the car would never be made. I, I really believe that the sedan is, is absolute vaporware. There is no way that Tesla has the cash on hand in order to be able to truly develop their own sedan. This is the first mass manufactured electric car. This is something that is... Uh... They've got a prototype that they're going to show. And they're going to start taking deposits, which I find just an amazing act of God. Or the old legacy automakers could crush Tesla at will. Like this news article from 2015, GM could put Tesla out of business tomorrow if they wanted. <laughs> now that article aged poorly. As now we can see, it's more likely that Tesla will put GM out of business as this competition is crumbling right in front of our eyes because of weak EV demand, while Tesla continues to grow at an insane rate. Even though we always hear about Tesla's demand problem, but that is nothing new as well. Here is an article from 2018 saying Tesla's demand is slowing. Or this one from 2019 about Tesla's Model 3 demand that drove off a cliff. Yeah, a cliff to become the best-selling EV in history. Or this one from 2020, where Tesla's demand also fell off a cliff in Europe. 
but is today the best-selling brand in Europe, and the Model Y is the best-selling car of any kind in Europe. Or this one from 2021, that Tesla's demand in China was cut in half. But now we can see that Tesla has already sold as much year-to-date that they did in all of last year. And if we look at the last point here, the September numbers, we can see that Tesla's demand is not cut in half, but is actually double of that of September in 2021. They couldn't have been more wrong, even if they tried. Yeah, the noise about Tesla continues, and all the haters and mainstream media and Tesla Q continues to get it wrong. This is nothing new. It has been going on for a decade. <laughs> what is new is that now all starts to crumble for the legacy automakers, while Tesla keeps pulling further away and has only just begun. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>